observe here this straight line is inclined 30 degrees to the horizontal plane and 60 degrees to the vertical plane now in this case how to project the front and top view now observe i am projecting the front view when you are seeing something like this perpendicular to the vertical plane then front view is obtained in this way on the vertical plane then you can see from the top to get the top view when you are seeing the top view it is something like this this is the top view now i'll project the side view onto the profile plane here i am introducing a new plane called profile plane and i'll project the side view this is the side view now in this side view you can obtain the true length you can't get the true length either in the front view or in the top view but in this case when theta plus phi equal to 90 you can get the true length of the side view and you can observe one important observation here after rotating the horizontal plane something like this that means after opening the first quadrant completely you will get the front view and top view on the same projector that is one of the important observation here when the projector is on the same line means here apparent angle alpha and beta are 90 and now i am projecting the side view onto the plane by rotating this or by opening this profile plane something like this now this is the front view this is the side view and this, this is the top end this is the side view and this is the actual position of the line now you can see how we are placing this on a paper now this is front view and top view this is side view now observe how to draw the front and top view from the side view first draw a 30 degree line something like this here you take one line x1 y1 this x1 y1 is representing this profile plane then to get the front view you draw the projector like this two projectors from this point and this point you will get the front view but to get the top view you draw an arc like this from this arc you draw the locus line and from here that will give the locus of this particular point and this particular point when you are seeing from the top that will be somewhere here no need to rotate because this is the this point lies on the intersection of x1 y1 and x y that's why you will get that point here then you will get the top view in this way